Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> I'm sure you guys watched the last video where I was talking about Brad Pitt and his journey out of atheism. What if they didn't watch the video? Hopefully you guys watched my previous video which was about Brad Pitt. Hopefully. That sounds a bit desperate. In my previous video I talked about Brad Pitt leaving atheism. Oh yes. And the choice and the reasons behind why mate. But even though Brad Pitt made it very clear that he is no longer affiliated with atheism. This guy tweeted me saying he's still not convinced mate. I mean what does Brad Pitt have to do? Tattoo it to his forehead. Well now however there is a famous Pakistani actor by the name of Hamza Ali Abbasi who has pretty much said the same thing that he has left atheism. So I became an atheist when I was 14-15. Science was actually something which brought me back to uh, being a theist. Ashraf, I hope that's good enough for you bro. Hamza has millions of followers. Now this is because he's appeared in Pakistani dramas, movies. I mean the guy's well known in Pakistan. His 20 minute video where he's literally opening his heart out and talking about his journey is gonna send shockwaves amongst the youth in Pakistan. When I finally painful process, I had a very painful process. This was a very painful process. It 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 he looked into science, he took away the biases that are attached to and the stigmas that are attached to Islam. So when I have all the cultural, social biases, emotional biases, I have to see Islam when I saw it. Because some of you guys watching, the reason why you guys don't want to accept Islam is because of what you've heard or seen in the media or what's perceived in your mind. हम वाक्या होने वाला है जिसको हम कहते हैं रोजे कियामत की यानी कि मैंने अपने परवरदिगार अपने बनाने वाले के सामने मेरी जवाबदेही होगी इस जिंदगी की जो मैं इस दुनिया में जी रहा हूं उसने हिला दिया मुझे उसने मेरी मेरी मेरे जिंदगी पे पर्सपेक्टिव को चेंज कर दिया आई लव दिस पे या ही गोस देन आई स्टार्टेड पॉन्डरिंग ऑन डेथ एंड द रियलिटी ऑफ डेथ एंड ऑफ कोर्स द जर्नी द डे ऑफ जजमेंट दैट कम्स आफ्टर डेथ now this is brilliant because the prophetic tradition encourages us to do that. Bro, don't talk about death in it. Uh, why? If you ignore it and don't talk about it, it's not going to happen in it. Bro, have you been drinking shampoo again? Because I had two bottles to start with and now I've only got one. If I'm acting, I'm going to be the best of the world. I'm going to get an Academy Award. I'm going to die again. Let's face it. Be it in any field, the people that you spend a lifetime trying to impress, sometimes going as far as sacrificing your beliefs. I mean, this could be not praying at work because you're embarrassed, or not asking if the meat is halal because you don't want to upset the butcher, or just not adorning the beard or the hijab. But these very people whose approval that you desperately cling on to, when you pass away, they forget you. I mean look at the people that are supposedly popular in our society. You've got the Michael Jacksons, the Malcolm X's, the Martin Luther Kings. We read about them, maybe remember them once a year but that's about it. I have made my life that I want to go through my life and talk about God. I want to talk about this news. After this news, there is going to be a very amazing thing after this life. Call it a religious activist, call it a dawa. Hello. I want to do dawa mate. Excuse me? I want to do dawa. 
You what? You're not listening to what I'm saying. Oh, That's you want to you want to do dawa? Yeah, dawa, mate. Okay. Dawa the dawa. Now this guy went one step forward. Not only was he influenced by Islam, but he now wants to share that message with people. And that's what makes our Ummah special. And that's what Allah says in the Quran, that you are the best people raised for mankind because you enjoin good and forbid evil. Then I'll give you my life in my life. Allah Ta'ala has thanked me that in the house that I was born, there are so many opportunities that are available that my life will be able to survive in a very good way. हो जाएगा मतलब इतने सोर्सेज ऑफ इनकम मौजूद हैं कि मेरा सर्वाइवल इज सॉर्टेड देन आई थॉट ओके बिकॉज इंसान का प्राइमरी मकसद जिंदगी में होता है सर्वाइवल फिर मैं सोचा चले ये सॉर्टेड है तो क्या जिंदगी में मकसद होना चाहिए इट्स ऑल वेल एंड गुड वांटिंग टू डू इट बट यू गॉट टू बी स्टेबल यू नीड योर एजुकेशन वंस यू आर एजुकेटेड यू कैन गेट अ डीसेंट जॉब दैट्स नॉट दैट लेबर इंटेंसिव बिकॉज़ लेट्स फेस इट इफ यू डोंट गेट द ग्रेड्स यू आर गोना हैव अ वेरी लेबर इंटेंसिव जॉब and by the time you come home after a long shift you're knackered a lot of these people that have good grades they literally just sitting on their backside all day just exercising their fingers i mean their fingers have got bigger six packs than their you know one family giant flabby pack he talked about how he's stable and then he was like yo i mean why do i need to carry on accumulating money why don't i share this message and that's beautiful बट मैं इसलिए किनारा कशी बड़े लंबे अरसे तक इख्तियार कर रहा हूँ कि कोई ये ना समझे खुदा न खास तो मैं कुछ मशहूर होने के लिए कर रहा हूँ या वर एवर रेस्पेक्ट टू दिस गाय बिकॉज इट इज नॉट ईजी टू गिव अप योर करियर स्पेशली वेन यूर अडोर्ड बाई लोड्स अ पीपल बिकॉज नाउ दट ही इज लिंक टू द रिलीजन नेचुरली ही इज गोन गेट लोड्स मोर हेटर्स बट लेस वेस इट ही इज सीन ऑल द ग्लिटर एंड द ग्लैमर ऑफ द इंडस्ट्री एंड दिस गाय टर्न हिज बैक टूवर्ड्स इट But what are we running towards? Are we running towards the leftovers that he's left? I mean this there was a very beautiful quote that I heard that we are literally licking what these people have spat out. Whether it's Brad Pitt, whether it's Sonny Bill Williams from New Zealand, the rugby player, all of these guys say the same thing, whether Kevin Hart or Kanye West, that this lifestyle does not satisfy the soul. To mera koi agenda nahi hai. Mera sirf zindagi mein maqsad ye hai ki jo dil se दिल से सच समझूंगा वो कहूंगा या हमजा यू गॉट बी केयरफुल विद दैट सॉर्ट ऑफ स्टफ मेट या बेनिफिट ऑफ द डाउट मे बी यू डिडंट मीन दैट इन द इन दैट सॉर्ट ऑफ वे स्टिक विद द ऑथेंटिक सोर्सेस स्टिक विद द स्कॉलर्स एंड यू विल बी फाइन व्हेन यू स्टार्ट यू नो डेल्विंग डाउन एट व्हाट ही सेस यू डोंट नो इफ देयर इज अ बिट ऑफ ईगो मिक्स्ड विद दैट अ बिट ऑफ शैतान यू नो एडिंग हिज मसाला इन देयर एज़ वेल एंड कुकिंग अ यू नो अ डोजी आ अ डेट करी You never know, mate. Because the problem is when people start getting followers, they start giving their opinions, and when you start giving your opinions, yeah, we've got a tradition that goes all the way to the Prophet. There are chains, established link between our scholars and the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. When some average Joe comes and says, "Yeah, in my opinion, mate, no one cares about your opinion," just like if you had a lump and some random guy said, "Yeah, that's cancer." Uh, who are you mate uh, i'm a plumber well go i mean my toilet's blocked to sort that out isn't it ke jab tak hum khuda ke sath apne ahd ki pasdari nahi karenge hum khuda ko allah taala ko islam ko apni zindagi ke center stage mein nahi leke aayenge hum apni islah nahi karenge tab tak is mulk mein khushali nahi aa sakti that's beautiful mate he's knocked it straight on the head if you fix your relationship with allah allah will fix your relationship with the people उमा the people on this planet and you know now have to now i just started now i have to keep going on other planets undiscovered uh, wherever life may be i mean